Hey. How are you? I'm okay. You know, our wedding is coming up in a few months' time. Huh? I know that. I mean, I cannot wait. Same here. Don't you think it's uh, time you make me your next of kin? My nest of kin? Oh, yes. Why are you speeding? I mean, why are you rushing this nest of kin of a thing? Well, darling, of course you know I love you and um, ah, I just can't wait to get married to you. Oh. Yes. I see. Nice one. But you see, you will have to wait until after our wedding. Is it possible? So... You're saying you won't make me your next of kin? I never said so. I just said you should reduce your speed. Hi guys, my name is Messi Johnson Okoje, Nollywood actress. Subscribe to Nollywood Classic TV. You want to see the best movies? From My Breakfast to Selen Sebuga, down to the best and the awesomest movies. Subscribe to Nollywood Classic TV. Hi y'all. Kadesh. saying in essence but there is no smoke without fire Linda you were here when she came you weren't absent she came here without making any points instead she was ranting and panting at the end of the day no point to take home that's the reason we should calm down and find out what the problem is don't you get it know why she is ranting. I have no reason to investigate what she has refused to make open to me. She insulted my person. She insulted my position. But I promise her, I will make her pay endlessly. It hasn't gotten to this. I mean, we cannot afford a division of this organization. At least not this season. Please relax. Calm down. To the best of my knowledge, Shit happens and should be treated once. The reason for her stupid behavior is because she feels she is so important to this organization's success. But I will make her to understand that the Queens of Rainbow has been in existence before she was introduced. Rainbow ladies. Rainbow ladies. Sasha, you can't bet your life that she actually shot Dixon. <laughs> well, 
I can swear with my entire generation that she did it. And that may end up becoming the greatest mistake of your life. What are you saying? Listen to me. I am not a fool. I am smarter than you think, you know. When I say something, I stand by it, you know why? Because I am 100% sure. I know what I am saying. We were with her as at the time of the assassination. Why do you accuse her? <laughs> were you expecting her to carry out the operation? No, wait, you were expecting her to actually come with a gun? Are you serious? What reason does she have to kill Dixie? Lots of reasons. And what are they? I'm sure you know Queen by now. Whatever she wants, she goes for it. I mean, she does not mind going to any length as long as she gets it. She wanted Dixon. She did not just want Dixon. She swore to have him. Let us not fight ourselves. United we stand. Divided we fall, yeah. We go fall, yeah. If we fight ourselves. If we fight ourselves. What do I offer you? What you want? Nothing. You don't seem happy. What's going on? Because you stole my man. I stole your man. The last time I checked, I did not steal things. I don't pick things that are not mine. I'm not talking about men. I don't steal men things. The man you left Queen Suit Hotel with this morning belongs to me. Are you talking about Dixon? Listen, I do not care what you people have. I don't know how long you've known yourself. Just leave my man alone for me. You know, Dixon has been telling me about the particular queen that's been stalking him. But I never thought that it would be you. You? Come off it. With all due respect, queen, I cannot leave him for you. Like you said, you saw us leaving for suit this morning. It means we were sharing a lot of things together. Why don't you go look for some other person than stalking a man who does not give a damn about you? I'm glad he has something to say about me. Just leave him alone for me. I can't, like I said. I have a bad habit. I do not wait for my ship to come. I sail to meet my ship. Whatever I want, I take it. Is that supposed to be a choice? Are you trying to me? Don't tell me. If this happened six days barely before you were shot, who else do you think would have done that if it wasn't her? It's likely she did. But there is still a possibility that it was just a mere coincidence. It is not a mere coincidence. She did it. Don't you understand what I am saying? Maybe someone else. You never can tell. Someone else, who are you talking about? I mean, who would want to take Dixon's life? Maybe someone he stepped on his heart to. We'll go to the point of killing him? I don't, I don't think so. Come off it. The queen was so desperate. They couldn't have been any other person who was as desperate as she was. Sasha, you never can tell. You are not Dixon and you were not born with him. Even if you were, you are not him. Just come to the meeting so we saw this out. I am not coming to any stupid meeting. Just so you need to come. Down. Things don't happen by themselves. We make this happen. Please let us mind our actions.
Guide our tongues, mind our actions. All I'm is. I heard what happened yesterday. I'm so sorry I was not around. So what actions have you taken so far? Well, I already confronted her. Wow, that's so beautiful. That is what I want to hear. Hmm. So, are you coming for the meeting this evening? Well, I didn't want to, but um, Linda insisted I come. Why? Why won't you? If you do not come, everyone will think you're scared of Queen. Yes, they will see you as a build dog that does not bite. Do you know, I, I think you just made an important point. Oh yeah, I do. My dear, I have to advise you because if I wear your shoe, I would do the same thing. Yes. Moreover, the Rainbow Ladies need you more. You are our brand. The Queen offended you. And you deserve a concrete apology from us. You do. You know, this is the best I've gotten in recent times. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I got you back. So, do not panic. Okay? I know what to do. Ah. Mm. Mm. What? Mm. Where did you get this one? A friend of mine gave it to me. It's so nice. Oh. Rainbow ladies. Rainbow ladies. We are the classic intelligent queens. Rainbow ladies. We are the classic diligent queens. We are the classic diligent queens. Rainbow ladies. I can't find such a hair. Why is she absent? You confuse us with your question. You already know why she's not here. So why ask? Okay then, <laughs> let's proceed with why we're here. No, we cannot. Because the face of this organization is absent. I don't know why. But the first lady is here, seated. So we can proceed. Oh no, she's not enough. Yes, Sasha has to be here to discuss a delicate matter like this. Come on, ladies. This should not distract our meeting. Whatever issue she has is with the Queen. They are both adults. They can settle it outside the organization, please. Hell no. It's not possible. They are our most valuable assets. Yes. So they need to be here. Mm -hmm. And who said so? I want to ask you, and I need a sincere response. Did you, did you carry out the assassination of Dixon? What? What right do you think you have to ask the Queen such a question? I have every right to ask a question. Are you serious? Of course I am serious. No, I don't, I don't, I don't get it. Can you imagine their country? Please let us mind our actions. Guide our tongues, mind our actions. All and all let us. Let us not find ourselves. United we serve. Tell me you were coming. Well, yeah, that's because I don't want to stress you. And then at the same time, I want to give you a surprise. You know, you would have just been outside and spending the rest of the days if I wasn't around. Ah. <laughs> How can you forget so soon that I've got my own kids as well? <laughs> Anyways, welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. You know your way to your room. Mm. Uh, of course, I hope I didn't prevent you from making this kitchen of yours so tantalizing and <laughs> as well. Mm -hmm. To your room, first of all. <laughs> 
Alright, no problem. So once you're done finishing up, just let me know. Yes. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you very much. This is about to rip this organization apart. And I can't watch that happen. Not now that we're about to get international recognition. I have worked so hard to get this organization to where it is today. The reason you should act fast, Queen. Yes, act fast. Do something. Do not endorse our division. Don't try it. Is it not obvious that I'm about to lose the control I once had? You can still regain it. Yes. So, how do I achieve that? Very simple. Embrace peace. Call for a dialogue. Do something. I know you can do this. Do you think she would ever listen? Of course she will. Or else there is something you're not telling us. Queen. Something like what? Did you kill him? Is that supposed to be your question? Sasha, I just want to be sure. To be sure of what? No, you tell me. What do you want to be sure about? I mean, exactly. Listen, no seer would convince me that the queen is innocent because I know she is not. I understand perfectly well that the queen might not be innocent. But please, one thing I want to plead with you is Give the queen a listening ear. For what? Why should I do that? So I could get more likes from her? I am not interested. Babe, you know one thing the queen dislikes so much and will give anything not to take that is lies. <laughs> ah, my good friend Rose. You think you know your queen too well, but you don't. Let me tell you something about the queen. When she wants something, when she treasures something, she goes for it, including lying. She doesn't mind letting go her ego just to protect it. You should understand what I mean. And what could that be? The club. I mean, the Rainbow Ladies. Which you know I am the brand. She needs me. She needs me for our brand to get the international recognition. So you see, she does not have a choice. You know, at this point, I am really confused. You should be. Let us not fight ourselves. United we stand. Divided we fall. Yeah. We go fall. If, we if you are really innocent, like you said, why not approach her and talk to her yourself? She approached me the wrong way. She disregarded my position and insulted my personality. I'm sorry. I can't bow down before her. Nobody is asking you to bow down before her. All I'm saying is that you should walk up to her, talk to her, make her understand that you're innocent. It's quite simple. She can't believe me. 
She believes that the Queens of Rainbow is an empire I'm building for myself. She knows how important she is to the organization. And that is why she wants to sink it. I can still get another face and brand. And that is what she doesn't know. Really? And you think that's easy? Oh, come on, Queen, you know that's not easy. You know how we suffered to get her. You know. Listen, if you truly value this organization, walk up to her and sort out things with her woman to woman. Yes. I'm your queen. You should at least welcome me in. You ceased being my queen the very day you snitched on me. So I ask you again, what the hell are you doing in my house? Sacha, you're becoming rude recently. Really? Yes. And you think being rude is the only thing I can do? I can do worse than being rude. Go straight to the point. We share a great bond together. A man is not enough to separate us. Really? Yes. You should have thought about that. I mean, you should have, you should have cut it to your brain before you thought of killing him. Sacha, I won't stand here and watch you call me names. You know what you are? You are nothing but a murderer. That is what you are. It's time you come back to your senses. We have a meeting this evening and I need your present to help with you and your stupid mother. Now let me tell you something. You better watch your back, because I will come for you. In the such a visit myself, she still absented herself from this meeting. Mm. We all know how hot Sasha is. Okay. What we should be discussing is how to make her forgive whatever that was done to her. Okay. Instead of blaming her for taking actions as to regards to what was done to her. And what was done to her that marries the entire Rainbow Ladies Weighing down on their knees just to make her happy or make her smile. What wondered. was that? Because one of us killed her fears. Yes. Mind your tongue, Sylvia. She, she didn't mention anyone to me. I guess someone is feeling guilty already. Oh, really? I don't understand. What is going on here? Are you guess out of your minds or something? Was that word by mistake or anyhow referred to someone here? The prime suspect. Come on, ladies. We have a very serious issue at hand. We have a very serious project to tackle. We shouldn't be doing this. We are running out of time. Please. Okay. And you and I know that that same project would work. Why? Because we, we need Sasha's endorsement to meet up to our target. We can actually do it without her. Then we will not meet up to the expectation. I mean, we have contributed to this project. And we cannot afford to make a mess. So it's better postponed than not meeting up to the expectation. Hmm. This is the second time Sacha is dismissing our meeting with impunity. Anyone close to her should warn her. Ladies, please. Come to think of it. I think we need Sasha. Yeah. We do need her because she is one of us. You know, instead of threatening Sasha, we should be convincing her. Please, make some people understand that. Oh, yeah? Not with a fight, though. Who is fighting? 
<laughs> How could you take such decision without letting me know? If you had told me, I wouldn't have allowed you to visit that idiot. Who does she think she is? Huh? Listen, I told her to do what she did. How could you? Because Sasha deserves an apology. But yes. She, but she didn't kill him. She didn't. Queen, you have been the only one acting innocent. And we are not even sure yet. Sorry to say this. If you're truly innocent, then prove it. Yes, prove it to us. Oh, sorry. I have to ask. Did you kill this thing? Does it look like I did? Come on, girls. Hop into your cars. Let's get out of here. Rainbow lady. Listen to me, girls. I am done with the Rainbow Ladies Club. And I mean every word that I just said. No way. We still need you. Are you sure we are making a bad decision? <laughs> My dear, I know what I want. And whatever I want. You are the face of the ladies. Mm -hmm. We still need you. You can return. Everybody felt your importance. Yes. And I believe your coming back henceforth will be much appreciated. Listen to me, girl. I joined the club not because I lack anything. Look around you, baby girl. The house. Cars, luxury, name them. I did not go into the Rainbow Ladies Club because I lack anything. No. I am comfortable. As a matter of fact, I did you guys a favor. Just because of Linda here. Because of our old time friendship. What did I get in return? Betrayal, backstabbing, heartbreak. Let me tell you something. Queen must go down. She must pay for taking the life of the innocent. That's the promise. Well, she says she's innocent. Hmm. <sighs> what else do you expect? In this kind of situation, what do you expect from her? Please, don't tell me to be calm. Please. I have made up my mind, and that's fine. We discovered from our investigation you were the last person he spoke to before he died. Well, I, I guess that was because I was the last person that spoke to him when he was in the restaurant, which was a few minutes before he was shot. Who is he to you? He wants my fiance. Did he tell you of anyone threatening him? Or are you aware if he has any form of misunderstanding with anyone? None that I can think of. As a matter of fact, he never told me about anyone having any misunderstanding with anyone. Not like I remember. We found the car, the assassin seized. Okay, did you find the owner of the car? It belongs to a retired civil servant. It was reported missing a few hours before we found it after the assassination. I 
I have something to tell you, Inspector. I'm listening. I know who killed him. How may I help you? I'm Detective David and my colleague, Corporal Vance. Madam, you are under arrest. What's my offense? You are the prime suspect for the murder of Mr. Dixon, who was ruining. I didn't kill anyone. We will listen to you better at the station. Corporal, take her. Madam. Hold it. I will have to go change into something else. Dixie's death, not me. Because you mentioned Queen's name today. I did not. Sasha, you have to reverse this. Honestly, you have to. Well, I am sorry, my hands are tied. What? I don't know what is wrong with you. I don't know. Just reverse this. I cannot, I'm sorry. I'm not the police. And as you can see in my house, I do not have any cell to keep criminals. Let's go, please. Too much family. From the onset, I made it clear the need to clear the wings of that object. But nobody listened. Now, have you seen the, the, the humiliation she has put all of us into? But Steph, that is not exactly why we are here. That is actually why we are here. Because she is putting all of us through this mess. I guess you've forgotten the reason we are here. Mm. Queen is in the police custody. That I mean. And a possible way to bring her out is the reason we are here. And nothing more. You know, you cannot talk about a solution without mentioning the problem. Just like you cannot talk about the Queen's arrest without mentioning who arrested her in the first place. Not when it has to do with one of us. Now you have mentioned Sasha's name, as well abused her. So, what solution has it provided? I don't understand. What is too difficult to understand? I only know about the ongoing war between First Lady and Sasha. Mm. But from what I am seeing here, <laughs> there is trouble. Yes! Which is? Are we divided already? Are we taking sides already? Supporting a party? If that is the case, you should be the first person to sense that. I mean, you chose a party first. So why pretending to be the good one here? Hey, why? Yes. No. Nobody is supporting anybody. The truth here is that we all want to take sides with the truth. 
And how are we sure of who is saying the truth? We all are mm. humans. Mm. Yes, mm. we have brains. Mm. Of course. <laughs> I think we are actually deviating from the main purpose of this meeting. Ladies of rainbows. We are actually here to talk about how to bring our queen out from police custody. Not all of this. Please, let's, let's remain focused. I wonder what is keeping her. Don't worry, I believe she'll be here soon. Queen is the only reason that could bring me to this house. You calm down, one your own day, your body. Hi, Sasha. What's going on here? Why are you ladies in my house? The last time I checked, my house is not a meeting venue. Uh, Sasha, calm down. I'm calm. We are here to talk about what affects all of us. Really? Yes. Not with Stephanie seated. She's not welcomed to my house. Why? She is one of us. Well, that's because it is my house. The last time I checked, she paid her loyalty to Queen. You are now my enemy. Leave my house. Let her be. We can still pretend she's not here. <laughs> yes. What? Yes. Why must I be ignored? Because you have chosen a party. Mm -hmm. The same motion you spoke against. And the party we just visited seems to be your party, your position. In that case, I take a walk. You are most bearer. This way? Rainbow ladies. Rainbow ladies. Okay, ladies, say some. Um, honestly, honestly. Sasha, ladies, that was really, really harsh. She doesn't deserve that. Sorry, ma'am. You're oh. in my house. If you don't mind, you can join her. Really? Sandra. Yes, join her. Well, well, well. Back to the reason you guys are here before I was really interrupted. Never mind. I know why you guys are here. Then do the needful. Sasha, please. Do what we all are here to ask of you. Please. <laughs> The last time I checked, I did not arrest her, did I? All evidence was pointing at her. And then she got arrested. If that is the case, you can get her release. Release her? Yes. <laughs> I do not have a jail, I mean, any cell in my house, do I? Do not expect me to use my benefit on my own enemy, my own rival. I do not keep, or either do I have any business with my enemies. You'd rather let her rot in jail? Well, girlfriend, if rotting in jail is what she has to do or the price she has to pay for what she did, so be it. Are you saying you wouldn't listen to us? I've been listening to you, ladies. I am not deaf. At the same time, I just made my point. When you girls are done, use the door. Sasha, we are done with this, ladies. It is painful. I am hot. It's hot, broken. It's hot, broken. I can't. I cannot. No, 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 no. I touch me a sisters. I touch me a one. Why do you choose to hurt me? It is painful. Hey. I am hurt. Hey. It's hurt, broken. It's hurt, broken. I can't endure. Was the highest humiliation I have ever tested since I grew up to know what embarrassment means. Hi! Goodness. Steph, we are fighting a just cause here. I think it's just best you pretend 
That never happened. But it happened! Babe, it did happen! I would never erase that from my memory. Never ever! Hi! Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay, fine. What are you going to do about it? Huh? You're asking me. Mm -hmm. Hi! Rose, I will so deal with Sasha. Sasha must pay heavily. Sasha will pay for taking me to the world of shame and humiliation. She will never go free. I'll... Oh, we are in oh, fact. I hope what you're saying would not involve you killing someone. Eh? Eh, Steph? I hope so. Some things are better left unsaid. Yes. Let's just hold on. Let the queen be released from the police custody. Why are we putting all our eggs in one basket? And Steph, how come Sasha seems to be the only one that can sanction the release of the queen? Like, I don't get it. Do you have any other solution? Do you have any other solution? I'm asking you. I think I do. You know, why don't we try this idea? Let's pay the DPO a visit. That might work. I'm giving you 10 minutes to get to this place, else I would leave. Come on, you don't have to be rude to a stranger. And I never asked you to sit. 
should I stand? That would be a lot better. Don't tell me you want me to look like a waiter. Come on, Lucy, you're too pretty for that. Excuse me? Mm -hmm. What did you just call me? Lucy? Come on, I know you too well. Um. Come on, I know you too well, Lucy. Anyway, can I have your digits? Excuse me? I do not give my digit to liars. Uh, why would you call me a liar? Lucy, listen. I know you too well. I know you live at number 9 Sam Estate. Yeah. <laughs> Indeed, you should have a degree in lying. Now let me bust your bubbles. First of all, my name is not Lucy. I am Sasha. Second of all, I do not live at number whatever estate you call it. I live at number 17 GRE Street. Do you understand that? I just achieved the milestone, baby. Don't worry, I'll pay you a surprise visit, okay? I love you. What are you doing in my house? You gave me your address the other day. Have you forgotten already? Why, you are in my living room. How did you gain access to my living room? Well, I told your security I have a special appointment with Sasha. And he brought me in. Guess what? He offered me a drink, but I said no. I think this is a joke, right? Mm -mm. So what if my parents were around? I have no bad intentions, so I don't see the reason I should be scared about them. You think this is a joke, right? Do you realize that I could get you arrested? And what will you tell the police my crime is? Listen, baby girl. No matter what you tell the police, I will not last in a cell more than a month. And I'll be out. That is a minor to compare what I can do for your sake. What if my parents were around? What would you have told them? I have no bad intention. And you know it. So I don't see the reason I should be scared about them. Listen. We both are adults, aren't we? Well, I thought about that, so I asked your security. He told me you live here all alone. <laughs> um. Your father must be a fat cat to afford this mansion. <laughs> what? What do you want? I love you, but we can start from being friends. <laughs> Listen, it is very clear to me that you are sick upstairs. When you're done with this madness, you used it all. Oh, you can't just leave. I'll be spending a night if you do.
No part of the body is more important. No matter how important the eyes are, they still require the help of the mouth and hand to interpret what is so. The well, nose is very essential, but it cannot function without the head. In essence, what I'm saying is that everyone is important to this association. Simple. Exactly. Mm -hmm. What then are you saying in essence? We hmm? can move on without Sasha. No, but not without finding the true killer of Sasha's feelings. And what is the meaning of that? Because the rainbow ladies deserve to know the truth. Yes. I'm tired of preaching peace and unity that I may never have. I started this and I can never end it. not comfortable with my decision, you can as well choose it. That my God, that calls herself such a. I will not let her destroy an empire I labored for years to build, in the twinkle of an eye. I don't understand. Who is Sasha? Is she God? <laughs> Sasha is no God. But let me tell you something. That girl, her status in this society is very commendable. Even at the federal level, her interest is properly recommended and represented. So she's not an easy person you can just go with. Hmm. That is why we should deal with her underground. And you think it's easy? That girl is not someone you can uproot. She may be fetish. Don't worry. She's a kid. I will teach her the rules of the game and punish her with the exact one she just broke. First lady, does it mean Queens of Rainbow Association will go down the mud? I will resurrect it. That is after proving to everyone that Sasha cannot pull me down 
or the association? You know, at this point, I am really confused. Confused? Why? Why? Babe, mm -hmm. on several notes, you've been hinting on how innocent you are. Are you really innocent? Just come off it. Let's say something else. So you mean the rainbow ladies are now divided? Exactly. And me and Sylvia are not supportive. <laughs> and what about the rest? I mean, I had a million dollars. Why? For whom? No one. She said she's going to be out till the truth is revealed. Well. This is just the beginning. I will make sure Queen pays for what she has done. She must pay. You know I support you. But there is something I must say. Righteous. Beware of Sylvia. Sylvia. Yes. You know her. She's a family. And she gives bad advice. Sasha, I have a strong faith that she's a spy planted by Queen to reveal every move you need to do. You mustn't tell her everything, especially the confidential ones. You mustn't. I told her so much. I mean, the way she's always interested to know what's going on with my slants and my life. Do you know what? Never mind. If we fight ourselves, if we fight ourselves, listen, I just want to have an interview. Place. 
How did you get to know my office? You're not even the engineer I've been expecting. Well, I am sorry about that. But, as for my desperation, it goes a long way to tell you that I, I am willing to do anything. I mean, everything to make you mine. Hmm. That must be in your wildest dreams. <sighs> By the way, who's been giving you all the information about me? Do you know my office? Do you know my house? Do you know everywhere I go? Are you not stalking me? Well, I am Nick. I can have any information I want to. So, how are you? Leave my office. Well, darling, I... I am not done with why I am here. Leave my office before I call the security. It has not gotten to that. Well, there will be no need for that. I will be on my way now, but... Security, please come to my office. I have a baggage for you to draw out. Oh, you have a good day. <laughs> <laughs> So tell me, who is he? I don't know him. As a matter of fact, I have never seen him before. You know, I don't know why this guy keeps pestering me all about. It follows me everywhere. One thing I am certain of is that this guy is part of my week. He follows me to the office. Wow. He follows me to the supermarket. He follows me to different shops even when I'm going for shopping. It's that annoying. You don't know him from anywhere? I don't know him from Adams, I don't. Could it be that someone sent him to you for a secret motive? You might be right. I don't know. I, I can't even say. So why don't you find out? I have. I mean, I've, I've asked him. And what did he say? He said love. Love? <laughs> oh, it's not God. funny, girls. Love? Is that not stupidity? Very stupid. Thank God it's coming from your mouth. Okay. Can I take the responsibility of finding out who sent him to you? Yes, sure. And how do you intend to do that? Do no worry. I will take care of that. I will do it. Trust me. Hmm. <clears throat> <clears throat> Don't worry, I'll take care of it myself. Oh. Find it. So tell me, do you think you took the best decision for yourself? I do not think that I made a mistake in the decision I took. Yes. I see. Why don't you join my team? That way we'll be able to make Queen pay for the crime she committed. And what do I stand to gain? Ah. It's about what you're going to gain. Sure. Name your price. I'll pay you. Sasha, I'm priceless. I don't have a price. Okay, if you insist, but if I were you, I would switch to my team, you know why? Because there is something that you're going to be proud of. At least, you belong to the team that found out the truth. Sasha, you sound too sure, but at this point, I do not know what to believe anymore. I'd rather stay isolated till I find out the truth. I can't believe that you still think that Queen is innocent. But she has sworn to be innocent. Sorry, I didn't order for this. Yeah, but the man over there did on your behalf. Wow, thank you. Hi. Oh my God, what's 
the meaning of that? Oh my gosh. Can you nice. comport yourself, babes? Or better to shut your teeth. Fine, she sends her regards. <laughs> Mama, <laughs> one of these days, I will just go and pay her a visit. You really need to because she's missing you a lot. Mm. <laughs> I know, and I miss her too. Okay. <sighs> so how are you? I'm fine. Esther. Ma. It's not so good. Thank you. Hmm, my money is working. <laughs> I'm sure you know your room. Take your bag and go inside. And then go to the kitchen and fix what you eat. Thank you. see him everywhere. Listen, that guy is either a ghost because there's no way he'll be throwing me about like that. It's so annoying. Mm. I doubt your opinion that he's a ghost. He is not. If he's not a ghost, how then does he know all my locations? What plans do you have? I mean, plans to strike Queen. Why are you always asking me about my plans? I mean, your, your curiosity is, is something to be worried about. What's going on? <laughs> I'm confused here. Am I not eligible to know? I never said so. I think you're becoming too inquisitive. Oh, serious. I'm only asking you because this is the time for us to strike Queen. To pay for, for killing Dixon. <laughs> yes. Or do you have any other motive that I don't know? I don't. For now. So, why are you making me to feel like a stranger? Oh, did I? Oh, my bad. Trust me, I never meant it that way. You know, I was just wondering why you always want to know about my plan. Anyways, for now, I do not have any plan. But trust me, when I come up with something, you better be careful. You better be watching. Too much for me. What exactly do you want from me? Well, you already know what I want. Thank you. Like I said, you will never have me. Never. Why? Because you think I am not man enough for you. Because I do not date toys. That's what you are. Well, I'm not a toy. <laughs> if you're not one, tell me. Why then is someone out there controlling you with a remote? Just to achieve her ambitions. So you think someone out there is controlling I, Nixon? Well, that's not possible. <laughs> You know, one thing that I fancy a lot about you is the way you lie. Why are you denying it? You still do not want to tell me who sent you to me. Well, if you must know, nobody sent me. I'm here all by myself. You see, from the very first day I set my eyes on you, I fell in love with you, girl. <laughs> 
if you do not mind, Mr. Lover, I had a very stressful day at work today and I would like to take my leave. Oh, cheers. cheers. It's a love. <laughs> Mm. Good wine. Nice. So, tell me more about yourself. Well, I thought you were the Omini present. You should know better. Mr. <laughs> Nuo. <laughs> well, I'm not. God is. Oh, really? Yes, darling. That's nice. Anyways, my name is Sharon Ogense. But my friends, I mean, they choose to call me Sasha. Sharon. Onyense. Onyense. That's what I said. Are you in any way related to the late Senator Onyense? Well, that's my father. Wow. And I never knew you were from such wealthy family. <laughs> this, this is great news. Well, now you know. Well, now I know I think I should uh, start treating you specially. Huh? Why? <laughs> because I come from a wealthy home? No. Well, because... I love you so much. And with this news, <laughs> you just added a little spice to it. <laughs> Um, where is this girl? Oh, sorry, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to hit you. I'm so sorry. Did I injure you? It's okay. I'm sorry. What's the name? Hello? Sorry, I, I didn't tell you my name. Just forgive my manners. My name is Joe. And I am Sasha. Oh, Sasha. Nice name. You married? Why do you ask? Do you go about asking strangers if they're married or not? No, not really. I wouldn't want to ask a married woman of her number. Oh. In other words, you go about asking strangers if they're married or not? Not really, not really. It's okay. Can I at least get your phone? You don't give up, do you? Cause you look so happy ever since you came back this evening. Who is sponsoring your happiness? I beg your pardon. I mean, since when did it become a crime for me to be happy? I never said it's a crime. Well, nobody is sponsoring my happiness. Okay. Hmm. So tell me, who then are you expecting his call? What's your problem? <laughs> Wait, I, you're not a wizard, are you? Ah, uh, no. no. So how then did you know I was expecting someone's call? Ah, uh, okay. Junior. Okay. Um, cause. Like, I've known you well enough to know that you are not a fan of your phone. Mm -hmm. Like, most times, it's either your phone is upstairs or downstairs whenever it rings. I have to be the one to go get it for you. So? And right now, look at your phone here. So, why shouldn't I think that you're expecting someone's call? <coughs> uh -huh. Monetary spirit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Well, uh -huh. Uh -huh. since you're done monitoring, I mean, if you're done with monitoring me, do you mind going inside? I would like to be left alone. Okay. Thank you. 
and God bless you. Bless you too. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> All right, I'll see you later. Who she has been listening to. <laughs> Sylvia, what is wrong with you? Why not leave them? Yes! Do you enjoy being where you're not needed? Who does? How do you want me to leave my friend? She's my friend. Really? Yes. <laughs> oh my goodness. Sylvia, what games are you playing? Because I know that deep down you, you are up to something. So tell me the truth. What games are you playing? Does it really matter? Of course it does. It does not. <sighs> I think otherwise. I don't know who to blame here. I don't know who is wrong. But I don't want you to get yourself involved in all this. Please. Queen approached me earlier because of this same issue. Yeah, she did. She approached me before she got endorsed. What did you tell her? Of course I told her the opposite of what I told you. You better be careful. Sky. 
whatever it is, I will get to the end of this. Joe! Uh, I'll see you when I come back. Why are you going to? Uh, sorry, I didn't tell you I'm um, going to have a date today. With a friend? Yeah. I thought we had an agreement that together we'll be going out with Stephanie this evening. Oh, so sorry I forgot. Please fix another date. Okay, I can't make it today. And uh, don't forget to tell her I can't keep my friend waiting for so long. And who is this your friend? You wouldn't know her. I just met her recently. Joe. Yeah? I must confess I'm really disappointed. Anyway, I'm so sorry I didn't tell you, but I, I'll try and make it up to you, okay? I have to leave now. I don't need to keep her waiting for so long. I, I have to go now. And who is this friend he's talking about? Whoever it is, I must definitely deal with her. If I catch her, I will deal with her. You shouldn't be in the country. Your father was a senator, as you said. Yes, um... Cheers. Cheers. I wasn't in the country for a, in a long period of time. I only returned when my father's unfortunate auto crash took place. Oh. Yeah. Oh my God. I'm so sorry about that. Why? Come on, it's not your fault. So I decided to stay back um, since my father was dead and he had a lot of properties and some companies I had to take care of. That's me. That's why I'm here. Oh. And now I understand. <laughs> I really understand. I'm so sorry for reopening an old wound. Nah. Like I said before, it's not your fault. I mean, the wound is already there. Whether you remind me about it or not, it will always reflect. So I'm used to it. What's that? The phone. The phone is ringing. Why not pick? Um, never mind. It's not someone important. Okay. So, why don't you tell me about yourself? What do you do? Where oh. do you stay? You know? Okay, like I said, I. I'm a US based medical doctor. Uh huh, really? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> so you gotta treat me anytime I'm sick, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. Why the hell is she not taking my calls? Huh?
a date with another woman? Are you not thinking what I'm thinking? What are you thinking? Okay. You're thinking that he would get married to whoever he went to see, right? Yes, of course. Come off it. It can't be possible. I make the decision here. You baffles me with your word, Queen. Are you saying you don't consider whoever he cannot keep waiting a threat? Who then can you see as a threat? I'm the only threat here. Yes, I'm the only threat. My brother confides in me. He tells me whatever he does. I can confidently tell you that whoever it may be stands no chance. <laughs> It's all right. <laughs> I have no reason not to believe you. You are my queen. You are my first lady. Uh -huh. You are Just the say that again. You are. You know what? <laughs> he told me that I should pick a date and venue so that we'll flex ourselves at Villa Garden tomorrow evening. <laughs> <laughs> That's my friend. No, I trust you, sir. Trust me. You can trust me. me. Trust me. <laughs> my in love. That's what you are. Yes, that is what I have. Come on, drink your wine. Yes! Yes! Oh, my most beautiful. Oh! Rainbow ladies. Rainbow ladies. Is that so? Yeah. For how long now? Um, for some hours now. And she's not back by this time. I I believe you have her contact, so why not call her? And check out yourself. Of course, yes. I will call her. All right. The sheet. You the sheet that time. But we are coming from here. Um, uh, uh, okay. Ahmed. Uh, uh? Ahmed, you better behave yourself in this house. Because my cousin sister won't like all these things you are doing. You better mend your ways. Um, uh, mm, uh, no, 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 no problem. No, 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 no,
and you'll be eating big chopping chopping big man food. And you'll be talking to me anyhow. I will deal with you one day. No no problem. Make, make I go finish. Wait, 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 wait. She was here today and she didn't live in her best mood. Why? Because you disappointed her. Do I owe her anything? Why are you being so rude? She's my best friend. That's why I said you should make her understand. I did apologize. Then she shouldn't be upset. Because I, I don't think I owe her a date. But you were the one that promised. You couldn't even fulfill it. Anyway, it might interest you that I'm not that kind of person that keep promises. Especially when I don't find the recipient worthy. In essence, are you trying to say that my friend is not worth it? No, you said it yourself. I, I think I asked you to choose a date and a venue. And that's why I chose tomorrow evening. You should have told me first before she starts feeling bad and disappointed again. But you were the one that asked me to choose. Anyway, I... It's, there's no problem about that. Because of you, I'll, I'll do that. Let's see how it goes. Hi sis. Hey, what's up? I'm good. Mm, Any problem? Not really. But your friend was here earlier. Which of my friends? Um, Nick. Nixon was here. Why? What for? He didn't really say. All I know is he was just busy, like um, questioning me out of your whereabouts, you know. I just don't know. I, I don't like that guy. I don't eat her. I mean, one bit. <laughs> then why still keep him as a friend? Question. I didn't come out here to be interviewed. Not even by you. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right. Mm. I'll be inside. Okay. I'm talking to you. Where did you go to yesterday that you refused to take my calls? No, we don't then. My friend, I'm talking to you. What's your problem? Have you got nuts? I mean, it all. it's obvious. The last time I checked, this is an office where people come to do business, not a secretary for mad people. Sasha, did, did, did you just call me a madman? What do you expect when you just expected the character of a crazy man? You are crazy. Sasha. Oh, yes, that's my name. I just have one word for you before you leave, mister. Now you listen attentively. I do not owe you any explanations on how I live my life and where I choose to spend my night. Secondly, I hate it when people try to be so important. I mean, feeling you're so important to my life, you are not. You are just a friend. And I would like you not to cross your boundary so as to maintain the lane. Use the door after you. Take your tacky self out of my office.
Rainbow ladies, rainbow ladies, oh. Rainbow ladies, rainbow ladies, yeah. Beautiful ladies. Things don't happen by themselves. We make this happen. Please let us mind our actions. Guide our tongue, mind our actions. Oh, rainbow ladies, let us not find ourselves. United we stand. Nothing is hidden under the sun. I told you. Did she see you? No, I, I, I doubt. Peter, as a matter of fact, I do not want her to know that you saw her. Let her keep deceiving herself. Can you imagine? What has she got there to do? That girl is something else. She is a snitch. Anyways, guess who visited me today? Nick. You're a genius. Ah! <laughs> oh my god. So tell me. What's what? that? No, tell me. What's this? What, 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 what's going on? Ah, ah. I'm happy for you. I think you guys are getting closer. Are you for real? No, is this a joke, Mama? So Let me tell you something, just like I said before. My spirit can never accept that guy. As a matter of fact, he came to the office to make a fool of himself. I placed him where he belongs. Sasha, do not tell me you are still fighting with him. Fighting with who? I do not fight with mad people, please. Else, they will bite me. Ugh. Anyways, I need to go for lunch. Are you coming with me or not? <sighs> I would have declined. But since we still have a lunch, you better be careful. You better be watching for too much family. My name is Stephanie. But you can call me Steph. 
I am from Ebo State, a graduate of mass communication from Uniben. Sorry, I never asked you. Joe, that's so good. Mm -hmm. Well, I thought since this is the first time of meeting you, we should know ourselves better. If that be the case, I should have asked you. But anyway, the introduction is incomplete. If I may ask, of what grade did you graduate with? First class or third class? What, what? What's the meaning of this? No! I didn't come here to be insulted. No, no, if that be the case, I, I, I take a leave. Thank you for the drink. You're welcome. of the matter is that he's not my kind of man. He's not. He's not your kind of man. As much as I know you, Sasha, you love cute, tall, fair guys. So which of those does he lack? <laughs> oh, Jesus. He lacks none of them. The only problem I have is that I've been trying to strike a connection with him, but my spirit doesn't... I, there's something about him that is not normal, you know. And who is this man you describe as your missing with? Oh, Joe. <laughs> uh, You've fallen for someone you met not long ago. Yet you're fighting to love someone that really cares about you. What is your problem? My problem is that I cannot connect with this guy. Don't you understand it? I mean, whose fault? It's not my fault. Please. Hey, uh, Sasha, can I meet this young man? Me too. My man. <laughs> what for? Nothing. I, I, because I don't understand you anymore. What is wrong with you? So you meeting my man will make you understand me? Yes. Your problem is this hair that you're carrying. <laughs> you're hair you're wearing is your problem. I've heard you out trying to fix silly. it. You're very silly. Please do, I want to see him. Whenever you wear this your hair, your senses are no longer intact. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I'm famished, please. <laughs> 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 If you had it in mind that you were going to embarrass her in the first place, you shouldn't have consented to the outing in the first place. You convinced me. Yes, I convinced you. Just because you showed interest. Why do I feel like there is an arrangement going on behind me? What are you trying to say? I don't understand what you're saying. Well, good evening. Yeah, how are you? I'm fine. Good. I heard your voice, is the Queen. Is there anything you problem? No, no, everything is fine. Everything is fine. Okay. I made food. Okay. Get me some to eat then. Okay. Good. Are you sure nothing is wrong with the Queen? Everything is fine. The name's everything.
babes, I had a bad dream. A bad dream? Yes. What was it about? It was about Sylvia and Queen. Listen to me, babes. I am sure they are after my life. I am no longer safe. It's a bad one indeed. It is. You know, I actually think I need to get some securities. Like one or two. At least I can afford them. What for? That's a waste of resources. Sasha, I think you should leave this to God. Yes. Only him can save you. Are you even understanding me at all? I just told you I had a, I mean, a nightmare. There's no way I would sleep in this house all alone without... I can't sleep at night. I don't. I need some securities. That's the main reason you should give your life to Christ. Did you pray after this dream? No. You see, he did not pray. Let's pray. Huh? You see? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, this is not funny. <laughs> Please let's pray. <laughs> it's enough for you. <laughs> you pray. Hmm. Let's pray. Kneel. I have to kneel. Yes. Father, we declare that we we'll love you. We declare an everlasting love for you. You better be careful. You better be watchful. Too much familiar. But it was very risky. You better be careful. You better be watchful. Too much familiar. But it was very risky. Why did you decline coming to the house? I didn't want to behold his face today again. Is that why you walked away? You should have at least accorded me some respect. So, I should have sat back and swallowed his entire insult. Possibly left with no dignity. Is that what you're saying? Sorry about that. I spoke to him and he was also sorry. I thought you said you already discussed it with him. Yes, I did. Well, he was in a bad mood that day. Babe, I'm a woman and have my dignity to protect. I deserve an apology at least. You know our plans. Do you want to spoil it because of your pride? Come off it. I'm not taking sides with anybody. But babes, come on, I can't, I can't lose any of you. Because we all are protecting the same interest. However, beware of Sylvia. Why would you say that, Sylvia? I don't want to go into details. But please, just be very careful. Please. Okay? I have to take my leave now, okay? Okay. Be good. Thanks for coming. Me too. Bye-bye. Yeah. Why is everyone pointing at Sylvia? Rainbow ladies, rainbow ladies, oh. Rainbow ladies, rainbow ladies, yeah. Beautiful ladies. 
things don't happen by themselves. We make things happen. Please let us mind our actions. Why are you blocking my car? And what is the meaning of the game you are playing? I don't get you. Mini, you don't get me. You are a pretender. Why are you pretending? Sylvia, listen and listen attentively. If anything should happen to Sasha, she will have me to condemn her. What sort of madness is this? It's your bitch! You better be careful. You better be watching for too much familiar. Only go very risky. Only go very risky. Only go very risky. Only go very risky. Oh, it's you. Only my life is in What is the meaning of this madness? No, tell me, what is the meaning of this rubbish? Well, you have not been taking my calls. And you have instructed your gate not to let me in. Well, that is because I am done with you. Don't you, I mean, can't you read the handwriting on the wall? Are you that daft? Well, if I may ask, what have I done? You've done nothing. It's simple. When a woman is done with you, you take your carcass away. Please, if you do not mind, take your pathetic self and your carton out of my gate. As you can see, I have somewhere important to go to. Well, you have not answered my question. I owe you no explanations, mister. Take your carton out of my gate. Very well. If you must go, then you have to go too. Watch me. Can you leave my gate, please? If you must go, you have to come around and we have a discussion here. Until then, you go through me. Listen to me, I do not have time for this rubbish. Do you understand? Get the hell out of my road. What's the problem? Well, you have not answered my question. Going to your house, really? Yeah. What's going on? Um. <sighs> do you know Linda want me to stay away from hurting you? Until now, I'm still confused. Linda did what? Yes. What's the meaning of that? I don't know. <sighs> Never mind. I'm going to see her today, so I'll sort this out. I mean, I cannot even remember being in any danger. Why would she come and do that? Please, you better talk to her. You I need to talk, talk to her. To her. I will talk to her, I promise. Anyway, 
What? You're looking good. Tell really? me the secret. I do. Uh huh. I do. So where are you going to? <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm heading somewhere. Okay. Actually, I have a date. Can I join you? I don't actually have anything doing at home. If you don't mind, let me join you. No. Because it's our first time having this date. And coming with you will look childish. Ah, uh, I feel you. Uh -huh. Okay, no problem. Okay. Let me start going home. Oh, uh, 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 I see you're getting over Dixon. I am, honey. You are getting over Dixon. <laughs> I know. So see ya. Bye, darling. It's heartbroken. It's heartbroken. I can't endure this. I cannot. No. I thought you were supposed to come with your car. I felt it's not necessary since we're going to the same direction. Anyways, I am so pissed with you. I mean, why would you go and confront Sylvia? I what is wrong with you? I thought we concluded and we resolved this matter to be on the loan. Why did you have to go confront her? I couldn't bear it. I mean, it's too much. I don't know. I just feel it's better that she knows that we know what her plan is. It so is not better. Keep off. It is not better, Linda. It is not. Now you've made her to know that we, we were even monitoring her in the first place. It was better the way we left her in the dark. That way we'll be able to find out what we're supposed to find out. I'm, I'm sure she'll be feeling differently by now. I'm sorry. Don't tell me sorry. You should always listen to instructions. The date is done already and cannot be reversed. So please. I saw her and I felt I should tell her. Sorry. You should be sorry. Please. Help us, please. Let me go and say the thief that stole your heart. Wouldn't it think of an eye? <laughs> Let's go, please. <laughs> I'm not serious. Stop with that. You talk and that. You shouldn't have gone to confront her. I, I told said you. I'm sorry. No, it's not enough. It's you don't. But you're shooting me. I'll shoot you now. <laughs> What's keeping him now? He's taking too long. No, I'm trying to reach him on the phone. No, his number is not even. It's not even going to call him again. Oh! Hey, he baby. Comes. Hi. Hey, come on. You kept me waiting for too sorry, long. I'm sorry about that. Mm. How are you? Fine. Sorry. You kept us for too long. I know, I know. I kept you guys waiting. I'm so sorry about that, okay? On my way coming, I met an old friend who took much of my time. Okay? I'm so sorry about that. Anyways, um, with my friend Linda. Linda meet um, Joe. Hi, <laughs> nice Linda. to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you too. Pleasure. I'm sorry. You guys are not taking anything. Because we're waiting for you. I said I'm sorry about that, okay? Mm. Waiter? Yes. Uh, please come. Alright, sir. So, how are you? Very well. He's nice. I mean, he, he's so cute. So, really? You're asking me like you don't know. So tell me, what and what do you know about him? I don't know any other thing apart from what I told him. That he told me. That's all I know. Instead of hanging out with what he told you, so. Why don't you find out the ones that he will not tell you and me never? What are you saying? What I'm saying is that this guy, I feel he's a bait to lure you into destruction. By whom? The enemies. <sighs> what enemies are you talking about? I mean, to hell with my I do, I do not even give a damn about my enemies. I doubt that possibility and you know what I am saying? Really? Okay, fine. If you insist, then all I have to do is look into the matter. That's what you should do. I will. Better. By the way, where are you going to so I can drop you off? Madam, 
drop me from where you picked me from. Uh-uh, don't come and stress me like that, please. <laughs> Why don't you just order a boat or do something? Why do I have to drop you <laughs> off? <laughs> like you're not invited, like you're not enjoying our conversation. Enjoying what stupid conversation? Is your conversation bringing money on time? Please. You better be careful. You better be watchful. Too much familiar. Money was very risky. You better be careful. You better be watchful. Too much familiar. Steph. What is it? He is not yet back until now. Where would he have gone to? Come on, Steph. You worry yourself too much. Don't worry. He'll be back shortly. Queen, I have every reason to worry. This wasn't our initial plan. You told me everything has been put to place, so what is going on? I haven't said otherwise either. Then why does it look as if we are forcing everything to work? Because, my darling, nothing good comes easy. Queen, who is this person he spends most of his time with? Have you tried finding out? I'm yet to find out. You see, that should be our priority. But you don't seem to see this person as a threat. And gradually, this person is becoming the major knot that requires lots of crack. Sweetheart, don't worry. He will be back soon. Okay? I'll be in the kitchen. Why don't you relax? I'll take care of everything. Okay? It's okay. You better be careful. You better be watchful. Too much familiar. Money was very risky. You better be careful. You better be watchful. Too much familiar. Money was very risky. Money was very risky. Money was very risky. Oh, you are. Oh, you are. You are. You are. You are. This is it. I mean, exactly the spot where I picked you from. So I'm dropping you off. I measured it. Come down. Do I blame you? Why would you blame me? Please, can you step down from my car? On a more serious note, what? you need to investigate that guy to know how genuine he is. I've heard you. Have I? He's entering here. He's going up on the other side. Make sure you don't call my phone for days. Forever. Stephanie. A graduate of MassCom from Uniben, if I'm not mistaken, right? You do not forget, Isla. <laughs> yeah, I hardly remember just that it was a funny moment that couldn't just stop refreshing my memory. Mm -hmm. So I'm so sorry for the other day. You know, I'm, I wasn't just in a good mood. I'm so, so, so sorry. It's all right. I understand. Okay. Um. I do not hold it against you. I am also sorry if I pissed you off the other day no, with no, my introduction. No. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Um, where is my cousin sister? Uh, she should be in the kitchen. Okay, I'll be inside. Um, you seem to be in a good mood. <laughs> Why don't you just sit with me? We can have a little interaction and a good time. Oh yes, I'm in a good mood because I had a good time with someone that has already occupied a better part of my heart. So I had to be inside because I wouldn't want you to ruin the joy. Huh? Excuse me. What? What just happened? What did he just say? That 
he wouldn't want me to ruin his happiness. Oh, no. Someone is occupying a special part of his head. Oh my god. What's this? What's going on? Wait! Oh my god. Wait! Don't worry, you have nothing to worry about. Queen, this is what you have been saying since this started. I can't stand this shame and disgrace. I well, can't. Unless the said lady is a spirit. As long as she's human and exists in this city, I would definitely put her where she belongs. You better act fast. Or what soap torment us in the middle of the river? Don't worry. Just leave everything. Just go home and relax. Leave everything for me. Hmm? The worst has happened. There is no problem on this earth that doesn't have a solution. Talk to me. Maybe I should be of help. Guess the people I saw today. You don't expect me to guess. You know I'm not good at that. Tell me. Who? Joe and Sacha. Sacha has been the idiot, the bastard that has taken my cousin's attention. No! No, no, no! It can't happen. No, that, 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 that cannot be true. We, no. we must act fast. Hi. Because we don't know what her next plan could be. Queen, we need to act. We need to save Joe's life. We can't just sit down here, so let's get up and go. Yes. From my cousin. Should anything happen to him, you will have me to contend with. 
Sorry, who the hell is your cousin? Who you sent me that pretense, you, you bloody pretender? Why are you pretending? <laughs> you know, it is very clear to me that both of you have nothing important to tell me. If you do not mind, take your tacky calm and your jalopy out of my way and your diseased bodies. As you can see, I have somewhere important to go to. Stay away from Joe. Do not say I did not warn you. <laughs> and desist from whatever useless plan you are nursing. Because so many eyes are watching you. And you never can tell what will hit you. And I promise you, it will hit you so hard. Oh, please shut your mouth. You've reduced yourself to Queen's story and still have the cost to talk. Take your tacky self out of my way, please. <laughs> my eyes are on you. No problems. Get out of my way. <laughs> Something like that on phone. Babes, I am finished. What do you mean you are finished? My whole world has come to an end. I don't understand you. What do you mean by that? Hey. Sasha, please say something. What is it? Babes, Joe is Queen's cousin. What? They are related to God. I, I never knew. I had no idea. What was I thinking? Sasha, but I told you. I warned you, but you wouldn't listen. Babe, you can't blame me. I mean, I am in love with this guy. It's not my fault. That guy was just a bait to lure you to danger. He is not. He's not. Sasha, He's not. What, what are you saying? You have to leave him now. Honestly. Sasha, I'm you sorry. have to leave this guy. I can't leave him because I love him. You can leave him. I can't. Sasha, he does not love you. He does! He doesn't! Stop it, please! You're driving me more nuts. Stop it! He loves me. I mean, I only found out about this when the queen came to approach me because of him. Can you believe that she wanted me to stay away from her cousin? Sasha, all this was just a strategy. It was all game planned. Let him go. See, I cannot live without this guy. I can't. Sasha, you can live without him. I can't. What are you saying? You can. I can't, please. Sasha, you can. I can't. Leave this guy. You better be careful. You better oh, just leave it. Too much Stop it! Leave him! Where is he home? You better be careful. How? Why? She wants to kill you. Why would she want to do that? I've done nothing wrong to her. She wants to get at me. She's my arc rival. What are you guys fighting for? It's nothing. I, I don't want to talk about it. Just stay away from her. Then, whatever the case may be, I think you're at fault. Since you do not want to tell me. Yes. Concerning your opinion that she wants to get to you through me, that's an obvious lie. I approached this girl and I doubt if she ever knew that we are related. So please, go sort out your problems and leave my relationship out of it, please. You better be careful. You better be watchful. Too much familiar. You better be careful. You better be watchful. Too much familiar. What is this? What is this? What is this? Oh, you're my chief, you're my chancha, 
I was told you wanted to see me. That's right. My sister told me you planned to hurt me. Just to get back at her. Is that right? And you believed her? If I do, I wouldn't be here. You see, if I knew you were related to her, I wouldn't have fallen for you. At least, not completely. Anything may I ask? What were you guys fighting for? I think you should ask your cousin. She should be in a better position to answer that question. I did. And what did she say? She refused to open up. But I believe since you claim to love me that you're going to tell me. Excuse me? I don't have anything to tell you. Maybe you should go back to her for the second time and ask her again. This time around, she might answer you. I want you to tell me if you truly love me. How sure are you that she killed him? I am very sure because I know what she's capable of doing, especially when it comes to her desires. So did she show any interest in him? She did not just show interest. She swore to have him. Why should I believe you? Because I am telling you nothing but the truth. Why should I believe that this one is the truth? <laughs> because I have never lied to you, or have I? What do you say you don't have any sibling? Yes, I said so. But I met one. Oh, Junior. <laughs> no. Junior is my younger cousin, you see. His father was my father's younger brother. He lost um, his mom after giving back to him. And then, fortunately for him, he wasn't involved in the auto crash that took away the lives of my parents. Ever since then, I do not just take him as a relation. But as a bosom brother because his father died as well. So he's got just me. Okay. It seems you're you're telling the truth. No, I never lied to you either. It's okay. I'll take my leave now. I'll see you later. Okay. Thank you. Why did you kill him? Was that what she told you? That doesn't answer my question. Why did you kill him? Well, I do not know what you're talking about. Wait! Yes. I'm 
You found your way into my house. It was never out of my reach. Tell me, what are your cost legs doing in my house? I want you to stop whatever game it is you're playing with my cousin Joe. Should anything happen to him, I will never forgive you. <laughs> you think everyone is a murderer like you? I guess you're scared. Oh, you think I'm going to kill him just the way you killed Dixon? Everyone knows. You can't talk anymore. Or have you suddenly gone dumb? Now you listen to me. You are a mother. And trust me, time will come when you will pay for all your crime. Until then, if I were you, I would be heading to my house. You should be going. And then you should also await my next action. Ahmed, shut the gate after her. Oh, 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 okay, Ma Ma madam. had to stay away from my cousin for the very last time. And you think she will put it out? Let's watch and see. There is no way she would have Joe. She divided the association and the only opportunity to build it back. She's becoming an obstacle. First lady, I warned you earlier. But you never saw her as an obstacle. I never knew she was the one. Bix! Oh my god! What is it? Oh god! What is it? Oh god. What is it? What did you invent? Something terrible just happened. Say it! What happened? Oh my god! What is it? Is it fine? You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Huh? Thank you. I hope nothing has happened you, you to you. Just need the rest. Huh? You need rest. Oh no. Sorry, it's fine. Don't, just, don't disturb him, please. Okay. 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 Jude. My darling. My darling, I'm fine. Jude, sorry, eh? Hey, don't you not the time to cry. Please. The doctor said he needs blood. And your major concern right now should be how to get that done. To start crying. You should get Sasha arrested immediately. Yes. What? I don't know why you like to misplace your priority. You want her to get Sasha arrested and leave her dying brother? Like seriously? Is that supposed to be important right now? I don't understand you. Are you saying Sasha should be allowed to move freely on the street? After committing the atrocity? Is that what you're saying? Is 
that's it! Steph, calm down. Calm down. I know how you feel. I am not saying that Sasha should be allowed to move freely in the streets. No! What I'm trying to say here is, let us do the needful. And babe, the needful right now is to save the life of Joe. Not to allow our beef with Sasha to be cloud our sense of reasoning. I am not saying that we should allow her to move freely, babe. Calm down. I know how we all feel right now. I feel the pain too. But please, let us do the needful. Please. You better be careful. You better please. be watchful. Too much family. And it was very risky. Sasha! You better be Sasha! careful. Sasha! Sasha, where are you? Where are you? Sasha! And it was very risky. And it was very risky. And it was very risky. Wow, wow, wow. Look who came to see me today. Oh, please, cut that pretense. Excuse me? Yes. Oh, please, pay me that pretense. Pretense? What are you talking about? Sasha! Sasha, when will you stop playing this dirty and dangerous game of yours? When? Maybe because your late father was a sinner who saved you from the penalty of murder. Oh, she dead! Enough! Stop this nonsense! How dare you? You barge into my house to remind me of my late father? What's the meaning of this? What's going on? Just know that. If anything happens to Joe, the law will come after you. Rubbish! Which Joe are you talking about? I mean, what, what are you saying? Oh, please. Spare me that look. Because you know what I'm talking about. I don't. Why did you shoot Joe? Why? Why did you shoot him? Make it a sweet. Joe? Someone shot Joe? Why? Why? When? Where? How did this happen? Can you talk to me? What's going on? Who shot Joe? Hold on. Hold on. Are you innocent? Where the hell is Joe? Where is he? Doctor, please. I don't want to lose him. Do everything within your powers to make sure that he survives this. If it's the money, I will foot the bill. Just name your price, please. Nothing will happen to him. You see, the thing is that he needs blood, and he needs it urgently. Doctor, you can take mine. I'm, I'm all positive, you know. Ah. Please. You failed the second time. So this is the cheap tactics you could come up with. I'm sorry to disappoint you. It won't work. Why would I kill someone that I love? This is a hospital. It is not the right place to display this madness. All we need to do is put our hands together and make sure that he survives this. Joe is my cousin. I don't need your help. Now get the hell out of this place. Queen, listen to me. You have to stop this. We can sort out this problem for Christ's sake. We need... Leave! Hey, 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 Leave hey, hey, this place! Calm down, calm down. Let's take things easy. He needs rest. Please. Doctor. Doctor, I will bring money to buy blood. Make sure you keep my brother safe. I don't want to see that woman anymore. Detective, I do not need a soothsayer to be sure she attempted to kill my cousin. I want her arrested. I can't just arrest her on the ground that you think she shot your cousin. I do not think. I know so. She shot him just to get at me. Just because she believed I killed Dixon. Isn't it clear? I saw it coming. Even if that is the case, I can't still arrest her. Why? Her father was a senator before his death. And her father's political son is now the deputy senate president. Does that mean she's above the law? No one is above the law. But if I arrest her now, he will come for her rescue and cover up fat 
that may later come up. But when we have enough fat and make them public before arresting her, he will be scared of throwing his weight on the matter because it might dent his political career. Just calm down. I'm working on it. Oh. What? Yeah. Oh, no. No, no, no. Let me... Let me take something harder. Let me get it. Yeah. What's going on here? You really want to know what's going on? How dare you? Not to give you the guts, the nerve to shoot my man out of jealousy. Are you sick in the head? What is she talking about? Are you stupid? But have you lost it? You still have the guts to deny it. Okay, what is wrong with you in the public? And this guy might be innocent. What stupid innocent? Innocent to my food. Now you listen to me and listen very attentively. Just pray nothing happens to Joe. Because if anything happens to him, <laughs> he will so rot in jail. That's a promise. I'm innocent. <laughs> I don't shoot <laughs> anyone. Better be careful. Just be careful. Too much familiar. Money was very risky. You better be careful. You better be watchful. Where is she now? Just forget about that gold digger. I will deal with her. It's okay. Oh my god, Hibi! Get your filthy hands off me and get out of this place! You murderer! Queen, I, I, I just want to say, how are you feeling? How are you? Why would you want to kill me? Why? How have I wronged you? How? What have I done to you? I did not shoot you, I swear with anything that I hold sacred. I did not. Why would I want to watch you? You, you know shot I him. It. You murderer. I did not do it. You Jonathan. did. I did not shoot him. Do I did not carry out. Why would I want to watch you? But you know I loved you. You know. Now, get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get What are you doing to yourself? <coughs> no, 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 no. It's me. Do you want to kill yourself? Cool. You want to kill yourself because Joe left you. Come on. Come on, cause you're stronger than this now. See, stand up. Come on. Okay. Please stand up. You're stronger than this, okay? in a mysterious way. <laughs> you know, I told you not to panic. That everything will fall into place at the right time. Mm -hmm. Babe, I doubted you. But right now, I know you as a sofa, a sofa lady. You can say <laughs> that again. <laughs> oh. Don't worry. As soon as he recovers from the hospital, mm -hmm. We are going straight to the outer baby. Oh my <laughs> goodness. And then <laughs> I will be addressed as Mrs. Mrs. 
Jerk. Jerk. <laughs> you know what? How? Let's chase to that. Siri. Because it was really a hard battle. We fought and we won. So chase to that. Victory at last. Oh, come on. <laughs> Sasha, this is not the end of the world. They say the devil you know is far better than the angel you do not know. Sasha, the number one thing you need now is a man that will love and care for you. Honestly. That alone will get you out of this emotional thing. Don't mind me, please. Are you listening to me? I'm listening. Sasha, it will get you out of this emotional drama. And you will be happy again. For me, I think you should give Nixon a trial. Consider his marriage proposal. Hmm? Yes. That guy is harmless. <coughs> and to crown it all, <coughs> he loves you a lot. And that can be drawn from his constant persistence towards you. You need to give him a trial. Honestly. <laughs> hey. How are you? I'm okay. Hmm. You know our wedding is coming up in a few months' time. Hmm? I know that. I mean I cannot wait. Same here. Don't you think it's um uh, time you make me your next of kin? My nest of game. Oh, yes. Why are you speeding? I mean, why are you rushing this nest of game of thing? Well, darling, of course, you know I love you, and um, ah, I just can't wait to get married to you. Oh. Yes. I see. Nice one. But you see, you will have to wait until after our wedding. Is it possible? So, you're saying you won't make me your next of kin? I never said so. I just said you should reduce your speed. Very well then, uh, I'll just wait. Mm -hmm. Because your wish is my command. <laughs> you better be careful, you better be watchful, too much familiar, but it was very risky. You better be careful, you better be watchful, too much familiar, but it was very risky. I am so scared of this marriage. I mean, I have never been so scared like this all my life. I am. Why? I don't know. Something in me tells me that the sky is not real. Has he done anything to prove that? Yes, he has done a lot of things. First of all, he keeps asking me where my father's properties are located. I don't get it. It seems that's the only thing he's concerned about. Make me understand. I don't get it. What do you mean by that? Listen, you're not getting me right. What I am saying is that he keeps insisting on knowing, you know, so many things about my father's properties. And then the worst part of it is that he's pushing me to make him my nest of king. What is wrong with that? I guess he's trying to take charge as the man. Take what charge? Come off it, girl. You know I am my own boss. I can take charge of anything that I want. I mean, all my father's properties. I don't need any man to do it for me. If you love this guy, this shouldn't be a problem. I mean, it's not a big deal. Can we go? We are late. And besides, we use your car. You're completely loose. Thank you. Bearing my mind. Ah, 
Barrister, I would like to make him my nest of king. Wow. Why? Because he's my fiancé. As a matter of fact, my husband to be. I see. But don't you think he's too early for that? Why would you say that? Now or later, what's the difference anyways? Pardon me, I, are you really sure you want to do this? Barrister, I called you here to take my instructions and do just like I said. Not asking me flimsy questions. I'm sorry. Let me talk. We're done with this meeting. That's okay. Thank you. Try to play funny, I will shoot you and try this car away. No. Please, I don't know what I have done to deserve this. But whatever it is, I am sorry. Just name your price. I don't know what I am doing here. I'm ready to pay you anything. 10 million, 20 million, 30. Just name it. Whoa. Oh. Good job. Ah. You did a good job. You? Yes. <laughs> Almighty Sasha. Finally, the eagle has landed. But this time, our wings were broken. I hope you're enjoying your new abode. You better start getting used to it. Because this will be your new home. Ali, 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 boss. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no need for that. She will enjoy all this. I'm very sure of that. You will enjoy all of this! Rubbish! Oh, male! Over all male! I let go for you, let go. Le. Over all male! Let go. I let go. I let go for you, my lady. I let go. Linda. Game over. Linda, what's the meaning of this? What have I done to deserve this? It's me. Yes. It's been me all this while. I shot Dixon and Joe and I planted Nixon to frustrate your miserable life. Now that is absolutely correct. Linda, why would you go to this extent? What have I done to deserve this? I took you as a sister, yet you allowed my brother got sentenced to death for a crime your own brother committed with him. Sasha, I begged you. I pleaded with you. I begged you. And you beat the deaf ear. I talked to my father. You were aware of this. I kept talking to him, but he refused to listen. Shut your stinking mouth. You talked to your father. Which father did you talk to? Your selfishness ended the life of my brother. Even when your father had the power to get him out, you could not do anything about it. Male, where, where make I stop? Make I stop here? Make I sit down here? Take it easy. Just take it easy. As it may interest you, Sasha, the lawyer will be killed after you. And as for your new will, Nixon and I will enjoy your father's wealth. Smells like Christmas. 
<laughs> Boss, Mona, no forget the promise Mona promised me. No, no, no. Now we have everything arranged for you. Huh? Sasha, it is over. Very over. Ah, no waste. Male, no waste. Maybe, now my work now. Freeze! Then get over! Hold it! Drop! Now who invited Kilebe for this matter now? Say, drop your gun! Hey, drop your gun! Drop it, drop your gun! Drop your gun! I don't follow. Now invite, they invite me, come. Now, move it. Officer, I don't follow. When you get to the station, you will explain better. Now, move it. Who invited Kelebe for this matter? Yeah? Yeah? So when the call came in, I knew we were in danger. You better be careful. You better be watching for too much for me. But it was very risky. But it was very risky. You better be careful. You better be watching for too much for me. But it was very risky. I didn't seize the time he used in the fresh up to get the police ready. And then we followed him to the hideout. Ah. Thank you so much. My God will bless you. Hey, come on, boss. Thank you for saving my life. What would I have done without you? Thank you. See, you're my special cousin for crying out loud, okay? Like anything for you. Anything. Thank God I am vindicated. Everybody was thinking I'm the evil one. Yes. Don't say that. I mean, you wouldn't blame me or any other person. With the way you were frequenting Queen's house, it's enough to suspect you. But all the same, I want to say I am sorry. I was only going there to find out the truth. All the investigation was pointing at her. Anyway, it's okay. Go and say no more. Okay, I've forgiven you. I can go and eat. Oh God, it feels good to talk. Don't worry, let me fix you something, okay? I know you're tired already. Right? Are they getting something also? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Mm -hmm. Please, can you just sit down? Please, I don't have time to sit. Just say what you have to say. I don't have it's that okay. time. It's 
Queen, listen, I, I am sorry. I regret my actions, no doubt, and you have the right to walk out if you want, or even be more pissed. Please, you have to hear me out, Queen, please. Queen, Queen, please. Queen, Queen, please. I, I know my real aim is now. You are, you're not my problem. Yes. I want you, and I'm saying sorry, Celia, please. Uh, Queen, uh, she's so sorry, okay? Please. Linda was the one behind all the killings and attempted murder. Yes, she has been arrested. What? Yes. Please forgive her. Please. Please. I beg you, just, just forgive her. Oh.